Dead Linux here. Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy Holidays. Hope everybody's having a merry, uh, merry Christmas. I just got back from spending the weekend with uh, my wife's in-laws and folks and uh, my daughters and cousins and all that kind of stuff. And this morning we actually spent a little bit of time on the ice, me and my father-in-law. And we're going for Northern Pike and it really didn't catch into any. Um, we were trying smelts and we were trying minnows and had about, what, seven holes up. Um, and actually I was fishing in North Dakota, so that kind of gives you an idea where I'm at. And I was, uh, in North Dakota the rules are, in during winter time you can have up to four fishing rods per person. So we were legal, actually. We were completely legal. And still nothing. So, you know, they were all about uh, five yards apart. Um, at varying depths, and so, um, yeah, it just didn't seem to be working for us. So I thought, you know what, maybe now's the time to get back into this game and see if I can figure out what I'm doing wrong here. So I'm actually on a lake that's known for trout more than anything else. Um, and there I am with my little guy right there. He's ready to start drilling holes. Let's see where we are. Um, okay, so that shows me nothing. Where am I? I'm way down on the bottom here. Okay, so I'm right here. So we want to get to see this nice dark spot right here where it's really deep. That is good trout and lake trout territory. So let's take a shot. And I actually did catch some northerns here too. And northerns in this game are kind of considered a great beast. Um, whereas up here in North Dakota where we fish, uh, northerns are the state fish. Northern pike is the state fish in North Dakota. So we fish for them all the time, and we eat them, and we catch them, and we eat them. And uh, if you ever need to know how to remove the Y bones, don't ask me. If you know what the Y bones are, then you already know how painful that can be. Um, just pickle the damn thing. It's fine. It's fine. The bones will just melt, I swear. So let's get up here where it's kind of... See, there's some people already punching a few holes here in front of us here. Uh, they may know something we don't, um, or maybe they just... Um, Maybe they just had the wrong idea and gave up. So that's kind of the that's kind of the deal here. I think I want to be right around here. It seems awfully close to shore, though, doesn't it? I think it does. But um, okay, so we want to go a little bit northwest. So right, like like right where I was walking. I think. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, we're right in the midst of it. Oh, and there's actually a little. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. You can see right here where we have all this real deep, dark red stuff, but then there's this little pink island here, and I think we're right on top of it. Oh, we're close. Um, might be a spot. Normally, naturally, it would be. Um, so we're going to back up just a hair like that. And, oh, can I do that? Oh, that just gets rid of the... Oh, that's a new function. Nice. Let's punch a hole here. Now the auger we're using, I think, is a little small. Um, so if we do catch bigger fish, uh, one of the things the game will tell you is that while well, you're trying to pull a very large fish through a small hole, do you want to force it? And if you do that, it gets to be a little gory. Maybe it'll happen. We'll see. Um, it's not too, you know, it's not you're, gonna, you're not going to get really grossed out by it. And I just put just a red maggot on there. That's stupid. Oh well, we'll see what happens. a little bit. They're not going to go for this though. I'm using the wrong bait. Um, for lake trout and for trout, uh, bigger trout anyway, um, in this game they go more for scented stuff. They probably won't go for this too well. They usually would hit this pretty quick. And we also need to switch our rod. This rod is weak. And I think, yep, yeah, we gotta switch our gear up. Um, so we're actually going to go for a little bit of a more uh, heavy duty rod and reel. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second here. There we go. And we want to switch rods. Okay, we want the heavy duty guy like... Yeah, we want him. Because he's got the fiber line. I don't want that though. I want a splasher again. And... Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. My, my little ice fisherman's a little sick. He's recovering from cold. Uh, let's see... Silver? Yay? No, wait, we want the big guys. Okay, let's try... 
See, okay. See this icon right here where we see there's a there's like a spoon bit here. This is actually a spoon. A uh, little red eye in the middle of it, but it's got a rod next to it. This is a complete combo. It's already built into the game. Same as this one here. And so you got to get into it first, and if I do that, it's going to select the other rod. And I really don't want that rod. Ooh, it's already using shrimp. But, you know, for the sake of experimentation, we're going to try it. Um, shrimp is a good bait. Shrimp's not bad. So we'll try it. If it snaps our line, we're going to switch to a heavier duty rod. See, now that I'm in the combo, then I can switch it. So it's kind of like you can have rods with different combos already set. And then when you switch the rod, you switch to a different combo. But then when you, if you switch back... Oh, he's speaking in... Oh, jeez, there we go. See? I knew they weren't going to go for it. See, now this, the game kind of has to take it on for its own. And so the only thing you can really do to control whether or not you get the fish is the kind of line and the kind of rod you have. So if you don't have the right rod, when it gets to this stage where you're fighting the fish, you just kind of have to hope he knows what he's doing. But this is why we trust our ice fisherman. He knows the territory, he knows the area. He plays the fish well. He's playing it a little longer than I would like. Don't horse it. Don't horse the fish. Don't horse the fish. Don't lose the fish. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You letting it run? Letting it run a little bit? A little too much, maybe? Oh, this is exciting. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. I should have switched to a bigger rod. Oh, oh, it's weakening. It's weakening. Can we get it? Oh. Oh. And. Fish are too big. Yep, see, it's forcing it. Oh. See what I was talking about up here where it says pulling up forcefully. It was too big for the hole. Um, so I don't know if I can switch. Uh, I don't think I can switch ice augers here. I think you have to do that some other way, and I don't remember how. Um, I think maybe it's if I switch to the... Oh, I can't remember if it's... I switch to the world map, I can do that. If I do this... No... There it is. Can I switch augers? No, I can't. Damn it. Th okay, if anybody knows the way to switch augers, please tell me here, because I can't remember right now. So, we're just going to have to force fish through s very small, very small ice openings here. Shoot. Fish got away. Snap the line, probably. Okay, so let's switch up our rod. Let's take the heavy duty one. Heavy, heavy duty. And then we'll take this. Is this. Oh, it's still going to do that one. Damn it. Yeah, see, because it's still hooked to this combo, I didn't switch it. Let's use this one. This spinner's just, or this spoon's just fine. Because it's not the spoon so much I'm really worried about. It's the bait. And I don't want that. I don't want that bait. Oh! I can't use these guys? I can use shrimp. I can try shrimp. Um, there's some paste baits. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's try... So you can't really move it too much. Okay, you notice too here, we've switched types of hooks too. This game takes all the stuff into account, I think. So if you are a fisherman, watch the equipment that it's using. It does make a difference. See, I've switched from a treble hook here to a single hook, which is fine. I mean, I've been told, um, you know, shrimp are really good on just a regular hook because it follows the shank up. But... See what happens here. Really like the shrimp before. Means they're down there. Oop. That's just falling to the bottom of the hole. See, we got some heavy duty stuff here. This is all um, heavy duty, not chalk line, but pretty close. Um, and it's uh, it's pretty strong stuff. Oh, there we go. Gosh. Right away. Right away. We've picked the right spot. Oh, the fish got away again. I think we had the right idea with that uh, treble hook. So I'm going to see if I can break up the combo here. Switch this guy over. Switch this to something dumb like that. It's just a regular jig. Because I like that rod. Because I want to use the heavy duty line. Because I think we're hooking into heavy duty fish. But now I'm going to switch to this. 
And then, now if you're playing competitively, you don't want to be swapping rods too much. You don't waste too much time. But I want to use that spoon because it's got the treble hook on it. There we go. Okay, see? Three hooks, three points. Well, you can't see the third point, two for sure. Now we got the paste baits. But we're doing really good with shrimp. So let's just keep using shrimp and um, see what goes on here. There we go. Because every time we've dropped down, we've gotten a hit. Or we've gotten a bite. Just can't hold on to it. Okay, just need to jig just a little bit. To grab the attention here. Let's see if we can get that same guy. See if he's still sitting down there. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. Uh, come on, come on. This wasn't how we were fishing today, though. When we were fishing out uh, um, in... North Dakota where we were ice fishing um, we were actually just using um, old fashioned tip up style but they weren't even tip ups they were just broom handles with line wrapped around them basically it's really cool really old fashioned way of doing it so basically you would uh, put two nails um, mm. excuse me two nails in the uh, broom handle both about uh, about a foot apart from each other and then that was where you'd wrap your line around and that becomes your reel and you basically wind and unwind. Um, so it's basically, if you've ever, if you're googling it, if you're interested, it's a hand line is what you want to look up. And then just imagine that just dropped over the top of the hole here, you know, just like uh, if it was uh, kind of just stretched across here, like here, and then the line was just going down the middle. And then we had bobbers, one bobber here, and then we had actually had a second bobber attached to the slack on the line, just sitting on the ice, so we could see it. So if the bobber, the little one went down. Then we know that uh, we had a fish on there. It's kind of hard to explain. Regular tip-up actually just works with a flag. Um, so you have a, a cross member. Ooh, there he is. Come on. You actually have a cross member with uh, uh, a spool that actually goes down in the water. And the spool, uh, kind of like a fishing spool, drops the line from it. And then when it starts spinning, it catches a mechanism and pops the flag up. And are we going to get this guy or not? I got a stronger line. Ooh, we're horsing him right out. 